Have you ever converted a photo into black and white and it was a little dull and you're like, oh man, this doesn't make a good black and white. Well, I'm going to show you a way that you can potentially rescue it using curves. Let's jump into the computer. All right. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw. And as you can see, I have this photo. It's all green, which would make you think that it's not going to be a good black and white which you would be kind of right, but not because of the color, it's because of the tonal range, right? If you look at the histogram here, all of my tones, don't look at the colors, right? Just look at this uh, silver piece here. It's not spread out across the image, all right? What it is, it's just this big bell curve looking thing, and that's partially because I went to Linear Raw, but if I go to Standard, you can see now there's a little bit more life in the photo and we'll take a look at that here in a second. But you look at the uh, the white piece here in the histogram, you can see that the tones are all in one area. That's what's making this kind of a flat image. Now, if I just take the saturation out completely, you can see I kind of get this dark photo with a few highlights here and there. And this could be what you're going for, but I suspect that's probably not what you want. So let's go ahead and reset that. We're going to click on effects. And the first thing that we're going to add is a black and white adjustment. Now, with the black and white adjustment, we essentially get the same thing that we got with the saturation layer. So what I'm going to do is increase the uh, luminance of my greens. Don't worry, bear with me. This is going to make sense. I'm also going to increase the luminance of my yellows for this particular image. You may have to do something a little bit different for your image. Now, time to make the magic happen. This is still a little bit of a dull image, uh, and we want to make this thing pop. So we're going to hit Add Filter. We're going to add a Curves Adjustment, and watch the histogram as I make my modification here. So what I'm going to do is create the contrast in my image by adjusting the levels of how much white and how much black is in the image. Now, if you look up here, uh, you can see I have some information of uh, like the brightest portions of the image. They're peaking right here. Well, I need them to move over here. The way that you do that with the curves is you grab the top node and you pull that to the left. Now, if you do it slowly, you'll watch the histogram update. And we're just going to pull this until either one, you get the desired look of the image or two, you start to get the information over here. Now, you can hold down the J key to see where your clipping begins. And then you can just start to pull that back. Um, and the way that I would really handle this is just by pulling it down a little bit, uh, taking some of that white out of it. Now I have a little bit more of a dynamic picture. You can see I've introduced more highlights into this image. Now, in order to really build the contrast, and this is where you get like complete control over your contrast, uh, even though you're not using the contrast slider, you're using curves. So what you're going to do now is do the opposite with the blacks. You're going to come to the bottom node, pull that to the right. And as you see in the histogram, it starts to move more to the left of the overall histogram. And look at the dynamics of this image with literally one curves adjustment by really spreading that dynamic range. Now, let's go ahead and turn this off. You can see it's kind of dull. And then I turn it back on and it, it just brings a little bit more life into the image. Now, to take this one step further, you'll add another curves adjustment. This curves adjustment, all you're going to do is make your typical S curve. So we're going to bring down some of the shadows and bring up the highlights. And as you can see, that makes this such a more interesting photo. Like going from this adjustment with the curves uh, levels adjustment, if you will, and then adding this in really just like makes this image that much better. And you can go from here making adjustments to your heart's content. So play around with it, mess around, uh, do what you can. Now, 
I have to warn you, this particular uh, curves technique, if you will, really only works on images where the tonal range is all kind of jumbled up. If you have a really wide dynamic range in your image or a tonal range, if you will, uh, this isn't going to work very well for you and I don't recommend it. Uh, it actually makes the photo look bad. So here we are with an example of an image that has a really wide tonal range and you can see that here in the histogram. As you can see, it spikes right here and then it spreads out very faintly. You might be able to barely see that, but just trust and believe that it does go this far. So what we're going to do is uh, in order to make this work on an image like this, you can use linear raw. What that does is it kind of just makes all the tones centered into uh, itself whereas everything else is kind of spread out. Uh, the linear raw just kind of like smushes everything into one location. It's probably a terrible way of explaining it, but in general, that's what it does, okay? Uh, but let's go ahead and test this theory out. So we're gonna go black and white. And I always use black and white because I think this works the best with black and white. We're gonna hit curves, and we're gonna go ahead and as you can see, the tonal range is already there. So really all I can do to improve the contrast of this image is work on the shadows. And that kind of works, but then when I go add filter and go to curves again, and I do my basic S curve where I pull down here and open up here, it doesn't look as good as the last photo. So. It's not going to work on every single photo, and I wanted to show you that. Uh, but the main thing, the main reason why it's not working is because I'm not getting that much of a separation and contrast. Uh, we can try coming back over here, hitting linear raw. And you see, it, it, it just kind of flattens everything out. It doesn't work when the tonal range of the original image already spans between the highlights and the whites. Uh, the midtones, highlights, and whites, and then already has a good amount of information in the shadows as this photo does. So just keep that in mind. You don't want a photo like that. I don't think it works. So there you have it. Uh, a way of using the curves adjustment to really save your images. Now, if you found value in today's video, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Chris. I am the content creator here at Free Will Photos. And I help new photographers and experienced photographers learn how to use photo editing software so you can get your vision out and into the world through media content here on YouTube. If that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos. And check me out at freewillphotos.com. Until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.